Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of VGC Prep. I'm your host Ryan, and I apologize for all the missed episodes. Um, well, basically, what you know, Sundays I have competitive corner instead of an upload, and I just didn't get around to doing that last week. And then I wasn't feeling good, so I kept actually missing the upload. Uh, so we finally got that upload on Wednesday, which is today, which is the day I'm recording, because uh, I had to do something on Tuesday, and I got I didn't get a chance to record so. Weird week for me, but we're back. Uh, we're using this team because I really like the way this team worked. I don't think it was very good. I just really like the concept. Um, it's built around Mega Ampharos, and pretty much every single thing you see there is made so Mega Ampharos can survive. I mean, you've got you've got a Kingler with Wide Guard and Ally Switch, so there's like no way you can hit Ampharos super effectively because you need you know Dragon and just swap out. You know, it's it's cool. I like the way it worked, and uh, I don't even remember how good it was, but I really liked it, so we'll go with that. All right, so it looks like we've got a Gyarados, a Zapdos, a Steelix, a Tyranitar, a Latios, and a Sylveon. So there's no potential way to get Trick Room up against, I mean, f on his team. Uh, so I think probably the best thing we can do is start off with Aromatisse for sure. Um, well, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe not, because uh, he does have the Steelix. So we're going to actually start off with Bronzong, because now he doesn't, the only thing he has to hit Bronzong super effectively is Zapdos. Uh, maybe a Fire Fang on, on Steelix, but I don't think I care too much about that. Um, now, I'm thinking maybe we could just start off with Nidoking. I kind of want to see what I have. I've got Protect, Sludge Bomb, and Ice Beam. Protect, Sludge Bomb, and Ice Beam with Earth Power, sorry. Um, so, you know what? Yeah, I think I think Nidoking will be a good lead. We're going to want to bring, um, I think, Kingler. Kingler's going to be pretty important. He's got a lot of things that can have Wide Guard. Uh, and let's go Ampharos. I think Ampharos has not a good matchup, actually. The only thing is then I have to rely on Nidoking to kill Sylveon. Um, not that Ampharos really wants to stay in on a Sylveon. Then again, I don't really have anything. This team is kind of weak to Sylveon. Um, I think if I go Conkelder, that kind of put... No, I have... Oh, yep, yeah, four Pokemon, yeah. I have to go with Ampharos because then I don't have anything for that Gyarados because uh, then I have nothing super effective to hit it and I'm pretty sure Gyarados can one-shot a Nato King and I cannot one-shot it back without Thunderbolt so we'll have to go with that so let's see what they want to start off with I'm probably gonna say Gyarados no no Gyarados okay so we're gonna see Steelix instead um, okay um, Steelix is interesting he definitely outspeeds me so that kind of puts me in a position where I'm like do I want to go for trick room probably not um, but then I don't really have anything to do right now I could I don't know if earth power will be enough to take out the steelix I think it will be so let's uh Let's go for a Psychic onto the Steelix, just get some chip damage off, and let's go for an Earth Power. And let's see what he wants to do here. Because uh, I'm very obviously a Trick Room team, but he is a Mega Steelix, and Mega Steelix is pretty damn slow. Then again, he's not a Trick Room team, so he might not even be invested in, in no slow. Uh, so he might actually outspeed us here. I don't know what's going to happen, my friends. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm hoping I'm right. Hoping this is the right play. Because he's going to... The Latios does get Surf. But I doubt he's going to Surf with the Steelix there. Oh, he's just going to switch out the Steelix. Damn it. All right, what are you switching out into? Tyranitar. Okay, so that, that's an interesting play. Maybe expecting a Flamethrower, but I'm part ground type, so I'm definitely going to go for that. Right, Latios is a Psychic type. I'm not surviving this, am I? No. Wow, I am very silly. I am very silly. Did I go for Psychic? I went for Psychic. I was going to go for Flash Cannon, wasn't I? was at one point yeah yeah um okay so let's think about what we can do now um i'm gonna bring in kingler this kingler will scare the living bejeebus out of the tyranitar i am gonna go for trick room this turn um and i'm gonna go for a rock slide seems a little weird i know um I kind of duped myself with the Nidoking. I should have just protected, gone for Trick Room. 
I, I guess there's really no reason he would have ever gone in. Oh my god, so much power coming out this turn. Um, yeah, this is one of the problems with the team. It, it's not great. It, like, look at that. I can't even take a Draco. Um, it's not amazing, and it could definitely use some work. Um, but I'm gonna lose this game, aren't I? Yeah, I don't think I don't think uh, I can come back with Ampharos. I played that really poorly. But that's okay. What are you gonna do about it? You know. Uh, I just, I totally forgot. I thought he'd try and kill this, the Bronzong. I, I didn't expect the Steelix to switch out at all. Uh, either way, I'm gonna flash cannon the Tyranitar. That's probably my best thing for right now, and I'm gonna dragon pulse the Latios. He might switch into the Sylveon. He's not gonna switch into the Sylveon. Okay, so he's probably just gonna protect then. Probably. If he's gonna do anything, he's gonna protect. Um, so far, no mold breaker goes out. Okay, so we do get the flash cannon off. Now it's not gonna do too much. It's gonna do a decent chunk because I am kind of invested, um, but not a lot. It, we do drop the special defense, which is actually very important. Um, we get the Dragon Pulse off, straight up kills the Latios, beautiful. Now what is the Tyranitar going to go for? Is he going to just go for Crunch to kill the Bronzong? He is indeed. Um, okay, so Bronzong goes down here. We've dropped the Tyranitar special attack, I mean special defense. Uh, if he brings out the Steelix here, we're actually in a pretty solid position, I think. Um, if he brings in the Sylveon, we kind of lose. So let's see what he does. He probably has the Sylveon because my team's incredibly weak to Sylveon. Um, I think that's Sylveon. That is Sylveon. So the best thing I can do is because I literally cannot kill the Sylveon with a Thunderbolt. I'm just going to focus Blast the Tyranitar. He could protect if he wants. It doesn't matter. I lost this game right here. Um, but at least I'll go down fighting. <laughs> Um, and that just one shots the Tyranitar, of course. Even without the special defense drop, I'm pretty sure that would have killed it. Uh, doesn't matter though, because the game is over at this Hyper Voice. I was gonna say, it didn't kill me? Wow. No, it, it does kill me. Alright, well, what are you gonna do? I made, I misplayed that pretty hard. It's been a couple of days since I've played Pokemon. More than a week, actually. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys at the next episode. Peace.